This class is about what are called joins. Joins are ways in which, in GIS, an attribute table that's associated with a feature class or a layer can be enhanced. Um, there's always value in having extra information stored in an attribute table which describes the features in a layer. Um, a join is one of the best ways to get additional information from an outside source and connect it or join it into an attribute table for best result. So let's look at some uh, handful of slides here to make a few definitions about um, joins, especially table joins, and then I will give you a definition um, and I'll give you an example of a table join and a spatial join in ArcMap. Um, the attribute table, and this, this slide right here is just a review of what an attribute table is. An attribute table is information about each of the features or spatial entities that exist within a data set or a data layer. In, uh, in that typical attribute table as we've seen, each row is also called a record and it refers to a single feature. And this was probably either a polygon or a point feature class here or shapefile um, which and, and one particular element of that feature class is a city called Bellingham and it, another attribute is a population. So this row um, refers to one particular item in the data set. Um, conversely, a single column represents all of the values for one particular field or one particular attribute. So these, uh, this column would represent all the possible names, all the, all the names of, a, um, of the items that are in this database. Um, just to reinforce that lesson um, once more, once again, um, it is, uh, it's, it's shown here that in a polygon, line, or point feature class or shapefile, one particular item, in this case a, uh, a mine of some sort, represented by a polygon, is also described by a single line worth of data in an attribute table. And the same for a road segment as a line and a point feature um, also represented by one row in the attribute table. The way in which outside information other information, separate information, is joined or linked into an attribute table is by use of a common field. And in order to um, make a join, there has to be a common field. There has to be a match point um, between, each, between the attribute table and the bunch of information that we're trying to bring into the attribute table. In ArcGIS, we always use the term join for this type of operation. This is an example picture right here, a relatively complex slide, in which we're trying to join table X to table Y. And each of these seem to be kind of equal, um, and we haven't really specified which of these is an outside data set and which one of them is the, the attribute table that we're dealing with but it's still the same concept. In this case, we have a table X and a table Y. Table X has um, three different records or three different rows, um, A1, A2, and A3, and then the values are B1, B2, and B3. I'd like to enhance table X by bringing in additional information. And in this other table, this additional information is the information that B1, which matches with a B1 in the other table, also has a characteristic of C1. It's very generic. B2 also has a characteristic of C2, and B3 also has a characteristic of C3. When the join is made, the computer is going to go row by row through the source table, 
is what this is called, and make matches up across the key field. So everywhere that there's a B1 in a row in this table, it'll also add a C1. So we're going to have a C1 added here. In this case, it's a B1. We'll also add a C1. And in this case, we have a B2, which will add a C2. And the result is a joined or combined table, which has more information in it than it did before. The important thing about this slide is to recognize the need for and the, um, and the job of the key field. Also in um, ArcMap, there's something called a spatial join, which is a means of enhancing a attrib an attribute table, not by matching outside data via a key field, but rather by matching outside data based on spatial location. Again, that's extremely abstract, and an example, which I'll show in the next video, is um, very... Uh, will be illustrative and noted in this slide if you're if you're a person if you're into good descriptions and good terminology um, what is called a spatial join in ArcMap really isn't a join because of the lack of a key field it's really more of a spatial overlay because it's not it's not making use of a common field so that's the introduction um, I think you might have to listen to this particular uh, video a couple or a couple of times for anything to sink in whatsoever um, the, the subsequent video, I think, will, be, will help a lot because it will show some specific examples of a table join and a spatial join.